Hi everyone, so I'm Indri and I want to talk about matcha. I'm really obsessed with matcha just like when people obsessed with coffee. So matcha is finely ground powder of specially grown and processed green tea leaves, traditionally consumed in East Asia. So let's take a look at some of the products that use matcha as their flavor. You know, in the stores and in the market, you can see a lot of snacks use matcha flavors everywhere. So the traditional Japanese tea ceremony centers on the preparation, serving, and drinking of matcha as hot tea and embodies a meditative spirituality. Well, let's take a look at the history of matcha. In China, during the Tang Dynasty, tea leaves were steamed and formed into tea bricks for storage and trade. The tea was prepared by roasting and pulverizing the tea. And then it brought to Japan through Zen Buddhism. And now it's famous in Japan. So let's look at the production of matcha. Firstly, it's coming from a shade grown tea leaves that also used to make gyokuru. Well, the shading increase the caffeine in the leaves. This is how basically the tea plantation are shaded. Um, back in the days, people would cover the tip of the leaves with straws, but now they just use like bamboo roof like that. After that, it is steamed in order to avoid oxidation and fermentation. And then the dried tea leaves are sorted on the basis of their size, weight, and color. And then you grind the tencha or the green tea leaves into matcha powder. So let's take a look at how we are going to make matcha drinks. We need to use this tool, which is a tea whisk, or in Japanese you say chasen, matcha whisk. So you pour some water and some matcha powder in a bowl, or in this case, in a pot, and then you whisk with the chasen until there's bubble on the top of the liquid. Next, let's talk about the benefits of consuming matcha. And this is probably why I really like matcha. First, it increases energy and memory. Second, it helps weight loss. Third, it reduces inflammation, so it's really good for your skin. And it supports immune system. Well, by having a lot of benefits, what is actually, what does that leaf contain that it can mix and give so much benefits to you? So there's a lot of components that comes in the chlorophyll of the leaf that you have already consumed as a matcha powder. Uh, you have theanine, vitamins, caffeine, catechin, fluorine, and polysaccharide. And here's the important component, tannins. Tannin can reduce the stress and it was tested in the University of Shizuka School of Pharmaceutical Science. Um, matcha is able to suppress adrenal hypertrophy that can reduce stress. So not only by drinking the matcha, you can also use matcha powder as a face mask. Well, in this case, of course, there's another process to do that. But you can see the better result after wearing matcha as a mask. Now, let's take a look at the ceremonial grade and versus culinary grade of matcha powder. Ceremonial is for pure drinks, but culinary is for flavors in cakes or snacks or something. 
So there's also a difference between matcha and tencha. Both are coming from green tea leaves, but matcha is a powder and tencha is the non-powdery texture of green tea. Now, how about hojicha? So the difference between matcha and hojicha is hojicha is a green tea that is roasted um it's roasted before grinding and the color is also different hojicha has lower caffeine now what's the difference between black tea and green tea well other than its color um black tea is oxidized while green tea is steamed and fried and black tea is lower in caffeine now how does matcha different than coffee well although the caffeine in matcha is less than coffee but it lasts longer so you have more energy when you drink matcha compared to when you drink coffee and that is why i really like to drink matcha so much it gives me energy and it boosts my mood and i just love to drink matcha every day thank you